Well, hello. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Welcome, welcome. We'll begin here shortly. Let me see. Let me get the... Is it raining? I know it's raining over here. I know in some parts it's raining pretty heavy. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hi, welcome, Carlos. Let me see. Hello, Freddy. Good evening, teacher. All right, welcome, welcome. So, yeah, it's already Friday, right? <laughs> Ready for the weekend, huh? Yeah. Good evening. Good evening, Fabio. Are you ready for the weekend, Fabio? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. Let me see. Do, 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 do. What do you think about uh, virtual coins, teacher? Is it a good option or not, in your opinion? Well, that all depends. But it all depends. You have to do really good study. You really have to study it a lot in order to... It depends. I haven't really, I haven't really put, you know, that much into it. But it's always good to read a lot and get familiarized with what you're going to do if you ever decide, you know, to go that that route. You have two different kinds, you say, right? You have the Bitcoin and another one, right? It's because remember that. All right. The other one, the one that I mentioned is SHIB, right? The one that I mentioned that I had, that I have about like three different types, right? Bitcoin has has gotten momentum. That's why it has become very popular, right? Very popular. And remember that Bitcoin when it started, it was a low price. Yeah, Bitcoin costaba dollars, unos cuantos centavos when it first started, right? Started, yeah, right. And la gente lo miraba como un joke, como una una broma or something like that, right? Even I, I'm going to be honest, I was optimistic when it first came out. People were telling me, Henry, invertí en Bitcoin, and I'm, I'm there, right? <laughs> and now that I have studied it and have really understood, even though I have learned a lot of business principles, it was based on the stock market, not on cryptocurrencies. You see, that's the difference, right? Yeah. But then I was like, you know what? It's similar to the uh, New York Stock Exchange, NASDAQ, Fortune 500. The same thing that invest investors do in the United States, right? But the difference, the difference is that El Salvador and many countries in Central America couldn't, didn't, they did well, we didn't have, or the rest of the region didn't have the capabilities to make it work. You see, that was the difference and the lack of education, the lack of the educational uh, part in how to invest. And our culture, our culture, because we like to keep everything the same, right? We don't, we're not a culture that likes to go and change like dramatically, right? We fear, yes, right? The majority of the population fear change. Temen al cambio, right? And when you fear change, you lack your own progress. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's the thing, right? It's almost, I'm going to give you an example. I have met many people in schools, in education, in universities, in different parts of, uh, of the region, not just here, but outside, 
that have always said, yeah, yo siempre quise aprender inglés, right? And it's like, why haven't you started, right? And it, next year, it's going to be the same thing, right? And five years from now, yeah, yo me acuerdo, right? And, and, and never, there's no progress, right? But now that we have, we have the basic mechanic, mechanics to begin and analyze, why not? Why not? Right. So yeah. that is the difference. Right. And some people say, oh, teacher, but it's OK. Right. Study, get to get get familiarized, study it. And then you'll be like, hmm. Right. Ask people go outside of it. Salvador. The thing is that I don't get how how what makes what makes the value goes up and what makes it goes down. OK, right. That's why I don't get it. I'm what going. All right. It. All right, I'm going to share with you. Just make, I'm going to make this brief. This is the coin. Esta es la moneda que yo tengo. Una de las varias que tengo. Ship. Si alguno de ustedes la quiere buscar, lo pueden buscar. Ship. All right. En realidad es una meme coin. All right. But it's new. Es nueva. So I, I told myself, well, when Bitcoin started, when the Bitcoin empezó, empezó, I think, it costaba cents, centavos, right? And then it went to dollars. And then it went to hundreds, right? Y después eran cienes, and then thousands, right? And it continues to grow, pero si empezó Bitcoin, right? With a hundred dollars, you could have bought a hundred bitcoins, right? That's okay, my... ship. But here, here's my thing. Ship, the one that I bought, una de las que tengo, ship. I bought some. Y vale menos de un centavo. So no es que están invirtiendo miles de dólares, all right? But if you're lucky, si la suerte te lleva el ship como el bitcoin y inviertes ahorita unos 50 o 100 dólares, En 10 años es probable que tenga 5 mil dólares, right? Si sigue esa tendencia. Ship, eh, what happened to ship? ¿Qué pasó con ship? ¿Alguien me puede decir algo de ship? ¿Qué ha pasado esta semana con ship? Ha aumentado Maybe como... It, grown. it has grown, yo pienso que hasta el 150%. Yeah. All right? So eso quiere yeah. decir que se ha crecido. Si usted la semana pasada, cuando yo les hablé de ship, ¿se acuerdan? Si ustedes yeah. ese mismo día habían invertido, um, digamos, mil, just más para hacer mil dólares, ese mismo día que yo le de ship, al siguiente día, 1, ya habían tenido mil quinientos. Right? Y ahorita tuvieran como, si lo hubieran hecho hace dos meses, quizás, ahorita tuvieran tres mil dólares. All right? Ahorita mismo, right? So yo invertí hace meses, antes que saliera Chivo and all these other things, right? So yo ya tripliqué mis ganancias con ship. Yo, right? Me, personally, with ship. But, Freddy saw me, ¿y cómo es que subió? Yeah, I don't get no les voy a decir lo que pasó. Porque las personas comenzaron a utilizarlo más. Exactamente, a comprar, right? Pero qué fue la tendencia? Por qué de un día para otro, right? What? Es la única moneda que se triplicó. ¿Qué pasó? Hay una porta plataforma que se llama Coinbase uh -huh. en Estados Unidos, in the United States. Esta es una plataforma de Estados Unidos, así como Chihuahua aquí, all right? United States, uh -huh. all right? ¿Qué fue lo que pasó? Esto fue lo que yo leí, yo lo leí, all right? Coinbase afilió a Ship a la base de datos de Coinbase. Yes. Desde el momento que Ship se unió con la plataforma estadounidense, parece que compraron 60 y algo, si no me equivoco, por allá, 63 billion. Se compraron 63 mm -hmm. billones de esa moneda. Y eso hizo que incorporara todo ese dinero y pues obvio, el precio tiene que subir de la moneda. Well, it's in, it's in like like the paper money. The more you, the more money is it, the value goes down. No, it's no. the opposite. It's the opposite. It's the opposite. It's the opposite. 
Es lo opuesto. When the more people buy, the more it goes up. The price is higher. Yes, the price goes up. When you when you withdraw, cuando uno ya saca esas ganancias, el precio empieza a bajar. El valor, no el precio, el valor de la moneda. Remember that. Recuerden que si ustedes compran ahorita una moneda, digamos, compren una cantidad de 500 monedas, digamos. Este número jamás, nunca se les va a bajar. All right. Pero el precio, sí. El precio, sí, el valor, el valor. Pero ¿cuándo es que pierde uno? Mucha gente dice, sí, ya perdió dinero. Es mentira. Es a lie. Esperar. Es de esperar. Usted pierde dinero si usted retira ese dinero. Pero si usted lo deja allí, como hacen sí, todos, sí. va a bajar y luego va a subir. ¿Ok? Sí. No se enfoquen en la bajada. Enfóquense en la bajada cuando van a comprar la moneda. Sí. Y en la subida, ahí lo pueden retirar. Pero yo no retiro eso. Yo lo dejo allí. Y aquí en 10 años es cuando yo ya lo voy a utilizar. ¿All right? Así. Yeah. All right. Pero usted lo, but you can still do it. Usted puede invertir ahorita y cuando suba, usted va a usar Chivo Wallet, digamos, la usen. La compran, vaya, yo compré el, el Bitcoin, cuando yo compré el Bitcoin estaba como a 38 mil. All right. Cuando yo compré. Right. ¿Cuánto está ahorita? ¿Alguien me puede decir el precio? Como, como 42 a estar. No, no está 40 y algo. No, no, está 34. Ok, 54. $52,200. Ok, But, eh, let's round it. Hay que round it. 52, 53 mil. Investing, Jennifer. Eh, digamos, $53,000. ¿Qué dices, Diana? Sorry. You are right. investing. So, if I'm you... not yet, but I have been reviewing okay. the value because I want to open so, the, my account. So, veamos estos at, numeros. You know? yeah, mm -hmm. Let's look at these numbers. If you invested when the when it was 38, like me, when I invested, it was like 38, right? 38,000, right? So, I bought a couple of hundreds of Bitcoin, right? $100. Right? So let's say you invest a thousand, right? A thousand. Cuanto, cuanto ha subido aquí? Cuanto la ganancia porcentaje? De 38 a 53. That would be mm, 715, 15, about what? 40%? 30? How much would that be? La diferencia son 17, 15 mil dólares, right? So 15,000 dollars. Is how much of 38, 15, 30, about 30, digamos 40 percent. 40 percent de ganancia. For me. For me, right? When I bought, right? And up to now, I have 40 percent, 40 percent ya de ganancia. En que me metí al principio del año. Eh, so what, in a couple of months? Ya tengo una 40% de ganancia. ¿Dónde Digamos le ponen? que si compró 100 dólares, ya tuviera, ya tiene 140. Something like that, yes. Mm. All right. If you bought at this price, that's an estimate, un estimado aquí, right? Un estimate. No es que exactamente, pero ahí va el estimate, right? You can go from 35 to 40%, right? 35 to 40, right? Yo he oído un montón de hipótesis que para fin de año el Bitcoin va a valer 100 mil, pero yeah. Ok, my opinion, But, I, no, uh, I think it's no. going to be, eh, va a llegar rápido. a los 70, I think. Uh -huh. My opinion, I think it's going to be around 70,000, right? With, with El Salvador using that. Ok, so for those of you that are using Chivo, right? Si ustedes invierten ahorita, siempre van a agarrar ganancia, digamos, si llega a 70, la compran ahorita a 53. Recuerden que no están comprando la Bitcoin, están comprando los, los portions of the Bitcoin, right? Mm -hmm. So, siempre van a haber ganancias, right? So, if you invest a thousand, 
right? ahorita, ahorita mismo, digamos que usted dice, ¿sabe qué, Ticho? Lo que tengo en el banco, mejor lo voy a poner en Bitcoin. Eh, voy a poner a thousand dollars y ya quizás para diciembre puedan que tengan unos 1300, right? ¿Y qué es lo que recomiendo? What I would, I would do? Yo convierto esto a dollars y voy al cajero de, 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 de Chivo y retiro la ganancia. Retiro los 300 y mantengo los 1000. Cuando el Bitcoin baje otra vez, que va, se va a pasar, lo vuelve a invertir. Y nomás se queda con la ganancia, se queda con 300 dólares y plata. Right? Y así puede hacerla también. Right? Eso se le llama sí. short term. That is called short term. Right? Remember, you have short term investment. Eso se le llama así, investment. Cuando usted nomás y, y quiere. Cuando... Y el otro es long term investment. The one you use. No, the, one, the, one, the one I use, yes. A, yes. A ese es el mismo que le dicen holding, ¿verdad? Eh, holding. Well, holding if you want to hold, yeah, you can hold it. Y también hay lo que es bonds. Eso ya es algo diferente. Hay right? bonds. Eso se llaman bonos. Hay right? bonds. Y una pregunta, la que usted tiene, la shift, esas, eh, ¿en qué la puede utilizar si usted la quiere utilizar? Vaya, yo, yo la tengo utilizada no con Chivo Wallet, la tengo con, con Binance. Pero Binance. ustedes pueden utilizar también Coinbase. Y pueden comprar por... ¿Eh? Mira, uh, hay cientos de monedas ahí. Como alguien mencionó, like someone mentioned earlier, or a days ago, Ethereum, uh, Sola, uh, uh, there's a variety, right? Some cost a dollar, some cost two hundred dollars, some comes ship uh, was cents, uh, less than a cent, right? You can buy as many as you want, but you have to do you have to do it through the bank. Ahí tienes que usar el banco. You have to do use the bank. All right, so you can't just like go and buy it here, okay? You have to use your bank account. That's how I did it. That's how I opened up my account. And you have to have two, um, un authent authenticator que cambia código cada 40 segundos. Look at the difference que la, esa moneda no se puede comprar nada en El Salvador, right? No, you can't do it here. But what you can do is with the other wallets, the international wallets, you can convert, la puede convertir ship a Bitcoin. Y después Pero, de Bitcoin usarla aquí. Pero tiene un costo, dicen, ¿verdad? Yes, yes. Esa sí, no, es, la international ones, esa sí tienen un costo. Por cada compra que yo hice eran como 5 a 7 dólares la comisión. Uh -huh. The commission. And then to withdraw, para sacarlo, es like 15 to 20 dollars. Commission. So, you have to be aware of that also. No es como la Chivo Wallet. It's totally different. Yes. But you can use Coinbase, e incluso when you use Coinbase, you have to, tienes que mandar tu ID, tu foto, todo eso también. Así es que, que dicen que nomás aquí, no. También en los Estados Unidos así es. You have to provide your ID, your facial recognition, es hasta más seguridad, right? More things over there. Your phone number, all that. Your passport, if you don't have an ID, you provide your passport. Te piden todo eso también. If you use Coinbase, incluso ya me cayó un mensaje de Binance que ya tengo que mandar eso también. Como la, la nueva moneda que ha sacado. ¿Mm? Eh, la que está ahí, es la, eh, I, think, I think creo que le mandé. No. Yeah. Sí, pero tiene, tiene moneda también. Remember Muy that fácil. many countries right now. Many countries, eh, like the one you say, Suecia, Brazil, um, Honduras, aquí, eh, ¿cuál es el otro país europeo? Mm, I forgot the China, name. China, yuanes digitales. Yes, they, they, ya, están en, ya están viendo cómo incorporar también criptomonedas. Eh, están bien, bien, así que solo eso quieren que utilicen. ¿va? No yeah. quieren que utilicen cosas como Bitcoin, pero no lo rastrean ellos. Yeah, so now you have to, um, yeah, las big corporations are asking for your information. Porque la de, la de Suecia vale 20 centavos de euro la moneda. 
There you go. They're having their own coin. <laughs> so a lot of people are doing it. A lot of countries are doing it. And, and let's see what goes. All right. Abigail, did you have a question? Yes, teacher. Uh, I want to ask you if you know something about the white paper of CHIP or if you know uh, about the foundation of the project of CHIP. Remember that ship, these were made as, as in opposition to Dutch coin. Era como, era como decir claro y tigo, rivales, right? Y ship is rival to Dutch coin. And it was oh, created, all right? So it was created in that way. And then it grew momentum. It grew momentum. That's how it started. But the creators, sometimes we don't even know who created that. They give a name like a Japanese person, right? Like a Japanese person is like, like many other coins like many other coins. So what I, my suggestion is study, do your research before you invest in anything. Okay? Yes, exactly. That's why I ask you. Mm -hmm. Yes. But thank you, Abigail. Thank you for asking, right? It's similar to the Dutch coin. It's a rival. It's a meme coin. All right. Now. Is that coin how... Uh... Uh, a dog, right? A little dog. What happened, Carlos? The the do, the Dutch coin have a little a little dog. Yeah, it's a little dog. The same with ship. The ship is like a like a wolf dog or something. It looks like a like a like a half dog and half wolf or some coyote or something like that. The ship, the 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 logo. <laughs> Yeah, that's true, uh, Carlos. All right, let's continue. Let me see. Flor, can you read, please? Can you give me a minute, please, teacher? Okay, you're in the what? All right, let me see. Fabio, can you read, please? Branding Unit 3, Vocabulary Create a Branding Profile, by the oh. October 8th, 2021. All right, very good. And we are also going to, let me see, let me add something here because I added at the last part. We're also going to do a speaking. Uh, all right, thank you. Now, we're still doing unit three. We're still working on branding, okay? Now, um, we are going to continue and it's, we're going to focus on the vocabulary part. Now, I left this here just to keep you in, a, keep you in line with what is branding. And I left it there. I know we saw it yesterday. Only this, right? This is from yesterday, not this, right? And then we're going to work on page 26. Page 26. Let me see. Okay, Flor, thank you. Thank you for letting me know. I understand. All right. Let me see. Yeah, when you have a lot of noise, I understand. <laughs> Over there you are. All right, wherever you at, right? Let me see. All right, let's continue. We're going to work on the vocabulary, but before we do that, I am going to call on someone first. Can you read, please, um, Beatriz? The first one, teacher, product branding? The, yes, where it says match. Okay. Building vocabulary, match the type of branding to its correct description. Compare your answer with a classmate. Okay, very good. So we're going to do it here in class. And what I would like for you to do, Beatriz, is read all the vocabulary in red. And then I'm going to call on someone else to read the different definitions. Okay, Beatriz, please. Okay. 
Number one, product branding. It refers to the practice or of promoting the brand name of a corporate entity. Okay, I, corporate, I can see. corporate, I can see. corporate entity. Corporate, corporate entity. All right. Let me make this a little bit better for you. Is that better for you, Beatriz? It's better, teacher. Okay, thank you. Okay, can you do just do number two also? Beatriz. Okay, personal branding. It use it is used to draw a positive connection between a product and the identify of a geographic okay. region. Identity. 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 Right. Identity. Of a geographical region. Very good. Excellent. Thank you, Beatriz. Okay, yeah. continue, please. Juan Jose. Hello. Hey. Nice to Hello. see you. Hello. It's a uh, number three, please. Three. Okay. Corporate. Corporate. Branding. Corporate. Corporate. Corporate branding. And the part uh, to the right too? Yes, just can just read it like that. They're incorrect, but I just want you to read. Oh, okay, the practice of people marketing themselves and their career as brand. Very good, very good. Number four, thank you, Juan Jose. Edwin. Geographical branding. A type of branding that develops a reputation about the environment and people are of a particular location or nationality. Very good. Excellent. Excellent. Uh, Abigail, can you read number five, please? Yes. It is how a product interacts with its consumer audience through design, logo, and advertising. Very good. Excellent. Excellent. All right. Very good. Now, I want you to try to solve these and put number one. Where does number one go here? Would anyone, I'm going to give you like a minute to analyze it and then decide where number one goes. Product branding. What is it? Which one would it be? Product branding. Yeah. Okay, anyone? Number one. Yes. Which one will be product branding? What, what, which one would that be? Um, it is how a product interacts with an, its consumer audience through design, um, logo, and advertising. Okay, very good, very good, uh, Jarvin. Uh, I'm sorry, Juan Jose, yeah, you're right here next to him, you're underneath him. All right, thank you, Juan Jose. Thank you, let me see, let me put the arrow. Okay, very good. What will be number two? Okay, I'm going to call on Jarvin, since you're right here next to him in my, in my screen. 
Jarvin? Hello, Jarvin? Jarvin, are you here? All right, no answer. Okay, let me call on Fabio. Okay, the personal branding is the practice of people marketing themselves and their career as brands. Okay. The third one. The third one right here, right? Let me draw my little thing. That is correct, right? What about the next one? Who wants to participate on the next one? Me, teacher. Okay, Beatriz. I think is, it refers to the practice of promoting the brand name of a corporate entity as a opposed to a specific product or service. Okay, Op opposed. 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 Very good. Oh. All right. Me, teacher. Okay, Edwin. Yeah. Uh, geographical branding, it is used to draw a positive connection between a product and the identity of a geographic region. Very good. Excellent. All right. And then the last one, Flor. You ready? <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's number five. Uh, Cultural branding. Is a type of branding that develops a reputation about the environment and people of a particular location or nationality. Okay, very good. Cultural branding. Hmm. Can someone give me an example of cultural branding now that we're talking about culture? What would be a cultural branding here in El Salvador that does not exist um, in other countries? For example, if you go to the United States, are you going to see the same types of food that you see here, even though you might have a restaurant over there? Yeah. Okay, well, give me an example of culture branding. The same type of food, that would be like a Salvadorian restaurant that they sell pupusas, tamales, eh, pasteles, all right. sorts of like that. All right, yeah, very good, very good, excellent, yeah. So when they advertise, it's going to be advertised mainly in regions where the culture is dominant, right? Where there's a lot of Salvadorians in the area, right? So if you have a lot of Salvadorians in the area, you're going to have a little a restaurant in relation to the Salvadorian culture, right? And you're going to put your brand outside. People walk through, well, what is pasteles, right? Or what is pupusa, right? Well, what is that, right? It's always. Yeah, right. So many people that, that are outside of the region internationally, they might not know. But I think we're getting uh we're getting to be known around the world, right? Eso que ya piensan mucho, muchos que ya no sabían dónde estaba El Salvador y sí ya saben, right? So a lot of people uh are very are becoming familiarized with the country. Um for example, I'm going to give you another one. Pollo Campero, right? If you go to Pollo Campero and you order breakfast, they're going to give you like platano frito, right? Stuff like that, right? Now, do you think they sell that if you go to the United States where people eat frijoles con plata? Do you think they're going to get that for breakfast? And the majority probably won't, right? They're going to be like, no, I want like waffles, pancakes, and strawberries and cranberries and orange all those types of different much uh, hush uh, hush browns hash browns right hash browns i love hash browns so that's what is called well, that's what we refer to cultural branding a brand that you use in relation to your culture um let me see okay now that you have all this vocabulary i'm going to pause for a second because i have to do the attendance let me see. Let me stop this so I can see para ver la pantalla completa. There it is right here. All right. I can see the screen. And I can see who answers and who doesn't. Okay. Abigail. Abigail. Yes, teacher. 
Ok. Beatriz. Present. Thank you. Blanca. Blanca. Ok, no answer. Brenda. Ok. Carlos. I'm here, present teacher. Ok, thank you. Diana. Present. Ok, thank you. Edwin. Present teacher. All right, thank you. Flor. Present. All right, great. Francisco. Francisco. Okay, no answer. Mm, Freddy's. I'm here, teacher. All right, thank you. Glenda. Glenda. Okay, no answer. Iris. Present, teacher. All right, thank you. Jackie. Present. All right, great. Jarvin. Present, present. All right, thank you. And Jennifer. I'm here, teacher. All right, excellent. Juan Jose. Present, teacher. All right. And Miguel. I'm here, teacher. All right, great. Fabio. Present. All right, great. Rolando. Rolando. Okay, no answer. Janari. I'm here, teacher. All right, awesome. Okay. I'm here. Okay, thank you. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen. Okay, I'm lucky. Excellent. All right. Perfect. Okay, class, let's continue with the branding. All right. Okay, here we go. Now that we did the vocabulary, let's look at the pair work. This is an activity that you will do in pairs as you can see here on your page 26, page 26. Can you read please, um, Miguel? Okay, uh, pair, pair walk. Um, look up the two set of questions to guide the branding process of company or a person okay of a company a company of a company very or good a person very good so now we're going to do pair work and you're going to look at the two sets of questions you have two sets two sets one is product branding and one is personal branding okay your personal branding and your product branding it says look at the two sets of questions you have a variety of questions and they are going to be used to guide you in the process of a company or a person, okay? Whether you can have your personal branding, right? You personalize everything or the product. Now, it could be a service also. It could be a service. So remember, you can, you can always use either a product or a service. And let's look at the first question. Continue, Miguel. Where well, says product? Okay. Uh, product branding. What does your your business or product do? Very good, right? So, what does your business or service or product do? Remember, we have a, we have asked these questions before, right? So, what does it do? What can you tell me? But you're going to tell your classmate, okay? And let's try, if you want to use a different product, you can search for one, but that's going to take a little bit of time. So try to use the same product that you have been using throughout these um, activities. 
For example, remember the product that you designed or you told us in class? And then we did an activity for the ones that didn't do the presentation. They still researched a product and gave that information. But in this case, what does your business or product do? For example, let me see. Ta -ta 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 -ta. Beatriz, do you remember your product? Yes, teacher. All right, great. So when you, this is the example. Vamos a hacer el ejemplo aquí, like, we, like we're in a group. When I'm going to put you in breakout rooms here in a few minutes, okay? But just to give an example, me and you, Beatriz, okay? So I'm going to ask you, hey, Beatriz, what does your business or product do? Uh, child care service. Ah, okay. All right. Um, what, and then look at the next part. Miguel, can you read, please? Miguel, personal branding. Okay. What service do you have to offer to people? Okay, what service? Okay, you already told me the product, right, Beatriz? Your brand, your, your company, or your service. Okay, what do you offer to the people? I offer a child care service. Mm -hmm. uh, any age in particular? Yes, uh, from five and 12. Okay. From five, five to 12, five to, to 12, 12 years yes. old, right? Years, years old. old. Very good, okay. Now, um, again, product, continue with the next one, please. Okay. What problem do you solve for your customer? Okay, very good, Beatriz. I usually attend social activities when the customer don't have enough time to attend this activity. I do that for you. Ah, yes, yes, yes. That's what I'm looking for right there, right? This is the type of questions that you're going to answer when you are uh, with your classmates, okay? And continue, Miguel. Uh, let's continue with Beatriz, right? Come okay. on. That, 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 that. <laughs> okay. Personal branding. What? What do you... Okay, what do you what do you do that makes you stand off from everyone else? Mm -hmm. uh, teacher, I don't understand very well this phrase. Is stand up? Okay. Stand out from. Okay, very good. All right. Okay, let's begin with the beginning. It says, "What do you do? What do you do? Right? What do you do that makes you stand out?" In other words, uh, your uniqueness, your uniqueness. Que lo My que hace, service. Yes, que lo que hace, que su servicio hace, que sobrepasa a los demás, right? Stand out. In other words, like, now nah, I'm taking the children to Beatriz because el uh, servicio de ella es esto, y esto, y esto, right? What makes you unique? What differentiates you, aquí viene la palabra, differentiates you from the rest? Lo, lo, de lo mismo de siempre, right? And yours is going to be different. So what, what makes you stand out? Stand out como you come out on, on, on front, in front, right? You stand out. Sobresale a los demás, okay? I don't know if I said that correctly in Spanish, but I think you understand what I'm saying, right? Okay, Brent, uh, Beatriz. So what makes you stand out from everyone else? Your uniqueness. What is it? Okay. I usually attend those activities that you don't have enough time. For example, if you had a meeting, a school meeting, I go for you mm -hmm. and I'm going to give you a report about that, about that the meeting, that the meeting about, that the meeting about. What was the meeting about? What was the meeting about? Okay. So if your boss don't give permission for attend these activities, I do, I do for you. Maybe your kid uh, has to do an activity to a classmate or friend's house. If you don't have enough time because you work from Monday to Saturday, 
I do that for you. In whatever place, in whatever time you need, my service is adapted to, to your needs. Okay, all right. So in other words, you give a personalized brief about all the meetings if a person doesn't attend, right? So you go directly to the customer and you tell them, Aquí está el reporte, right? This is the, this is what we did. This is what your son or child has been doing. These are the new things that we have planned as a company and everything that you talk uh, during the meetings, right? Very good. Excellent. So you personalize your services, yes. right? Yes. All right. So in more technical words, you personalize your services. Very good, right? A domicilio, delivery. Delivery. <laughs> <laughs> Very good, right? Hey, así es, right? That's how you do it. That's how you do it. You're going to do this in groups. So now it's going to be more, more analysis, more critical thinking, more to the point, and more unique to you and your response. Very good, right? These questions we didn't ask before, but now since we re we're relating this to branding, we have to ask those as a company and as a customer. Okay, any questions? This is in page 26, all right? Any questions? We just did it, uh, Miguel, myself, and Beatriz, right? We just did it, and that's how you're going to do it in breakout rooms. Any questions? Any vocabulary here that you do not understand? Please I ask me. <clears throat> question is yes. it just it's just speaking or we have to be writing to well it's up to you i think uh i think beatrice she did it just speaking right now and that is my preference okay that is my preference for you to use critical thinking all right and put yourself in a business perspective for example if you're in a business right or you're working and someone comes and asks you a question about the company, you won't be like, um, mm, um, uh, right? If you say, I don't know, boom, right? Boom, right? It's like, yeah. So remember, you did this already. This is Beatriz. She did this already. She talked about her child uh, service, child care services. So she's aware of the company she talked about because she already did it. And Freddy's, you already did it too, right? You talked about uh, social media or something. It was Facebook or something, I can remember. Yeah, it was uh, Facebook sunglasses. All right, your Facebook sunglasses, right? So that will be something that you're already familiar with because you, you did the activity. So try to do everything speaking and analysis and critical thinking, okay? But thank you for asking, Freddy's. All right, my preference is for you to speak and not so much write it and then say it. Try to, try to give it your best, okay? This is a challenge for you. Give it your best, all right? Always, always give it your best. Any other questions? Any other questions? Okay, if there are no questions, then I will proceed with the breakout rooms. I will enter and observe your speaking abilities. Remember, these are the questions. They are already here. This is your guide. Okay? This is your guide. Does anyone need me to send this picture to break out uh, to the WhatsApp group? Anyone need me to send it? Peter. Yes? Flor? Me. I, I'm going to drive right now. Okay. So that means... Um, Maybe you can just listen then, Flo. Mm -hmm. All right, no problem. I will put you in a group where you're just going to be listening, okay? Thank you for notifying okay. me. Thank you. Okay, thank you. All right, let me see. Breakout rooms. Is there anyone else that for one reason or another you cannot do this activity? Please let me know so that way I know because I'm going to put you in pairs, like I in pairs, except for Flor, she's going to be with, with a group of three. Mm. 
and maybe there's going to be one other group with another it's going to be three of you because of the number of students okay room number two is going to be Freddy's Miguel and Fabio you're going to be together the rest is going to be in pairs in pairs let me see sure. I want to be out of the activity. Okay. Okay, you would. Okay, well, that changes everything. Okay. Can you just listen, Abigail? Can you just listen? Yes. Okay, no problem. Thank you. Let me see. I'm going to move you then. I'm going to move you with room number two. And I'm going to move. Miguel, you're going to do number one. Okay, there you go. Okay, so you're going to be, Abigail, you're going to be with Freddy's and Fabio. All right, ready? Every, anyone else? Okay, one, two, three breakout rooms. Hello, Jennifer. Jennifer? Hello, teacher. Okay. I'm going to move you, okay? I'm going okay, to put you in another group. Okay. All right. Okay, Kevin, thank you for notifying me. I just saw your message. All right.
plan department. Yes, but are so expensive. Yeah. I think but that many but I, but I, the, the taste is very good. Yes. Yes, it's very good. Pizza high. Yes. yes. Hi. <laughs> you can look for it on marketplace if you Responsible, organized, useful, and friendly. One adjective more. Mm. Protective? No. Mm. Okay. Hello? Hello, Fabio. Hello, teacher. I'm just wondering, what question are you doing? The five, the mm -hmm. the five adjectives or words that best describe your company. Okay. That's what he's answering about the app. Yes. So it's, uh, pen app. <laughs> we All do right. this because in the module two we work together in this app. <laughs> oh yeah. All right. Yeah. It, what what is this? This is um. Let me see. Pet Lover app. It's lower. A reminder app to take care of pets. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I remember you were you mentioned about the, the, the animals, right? The pets. Yes. Yeah, in intermediate in intermediate too, the other teacher makes us do an a swap analysis and make a or make make a service or in, or a product. Yeah. We're using the SWOT analysis, right? Yeah. Yes. The strength, weakness, opportunities, and threats, right? All right. So here, five adjectives that best describe your company. All right. So let me see the adjectives you have: responsible, organized, useful, friendly. Hmm. All right. Nice. Nice. Just one more. We are thinking about something that that is related to be uh, responsible, but uh, um, I don't know who to. Oh, you would you like to go with punctuality? You can go with uh, uh, punctuality. Maybe not that, but okay. Yeah, responsible. You can go with uh. There, there are many, many. Yeah, but <laughs> <laughs> you have to. You're trying to find like the right one for you, huh? Yeah, I want to find the right one. <laughs> All right. Uh... I don't know. No, there, are, there. Are... I can do response. Efficient. Uh, efficient, maybe that. Nah, that's the one that came to my mind. Efficient. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I was trying Fish. to think of a lot, right? Like, okay, well, maybe related with animals, you have to be very efficient, right? With that's what you right. Have. Yes. You have to be responsible, organized, yeah. efficient, friendly, and useful. <laughs> <laughs> but that's how that want to be okay but we have to do also personal branding or yes just product. yes because okay. one is product and one is personal personal yes but this personal is not, not had to be related with this product yes it's, it's everything has to be related okay both both, both. okay so what service do you have to offer to people Well, if for
know how can I speak? Eh, el juego del calamar. That's that's movie. <laughs> oh, uh, that's series. That's series, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Did you finish it? Yeah. Uh, do you like it? Yes, <laughs> I like it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> I I like it, but not at all because it, it, it's very bloody. Yeah. Mm -hmm. bloody. bloody, 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 bloody. <laughs> Teacher, I couldn't accept the invitation. Can uh -huh. you please send me the invitation again? Okay, no problem. Okay, I'm going to put you in I the room. Con okay. The connection. Okay. I was, I was with Jackie. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put okay. you back, okay? Okay, thank you. Hello, Carlos. Hello, teacher. What happened to Miguel? Yeah, I he he have a problem with with uh, her his him Irene his 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 Irene. Okay. Uh, they they told me that haven't a signal in in, in how how. Well, I say is like pull down. Where was the last part, Carlos? Because, uh, for example, cuando solo cuando cuando se utiliza pull up con las aplicaciones para cuando están cargando. Mm. Digamos, para si se desconectó, ¿cómo sería? Disconnected. 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 Yes. Disconnected. All right. He disconnected because of because of uh, I guess bad bad connection, right? Bad internet connection. Okay, let me. We're almost. Okay, here I get it. Here it comes. And I'm going to put you. I'm going to put him back here. Okay, he's coming back right now. It should be popping up right here. He, he told me that uh, around one week ago he he had a problem with the internet maybe yeah. like me like me now <laughs> <laughs> yeah. here, here he is right here here he is right here miguel he's back right hello miguel hello he hello hello all right hello. You're back. i'm sorry uh I have a problem with my internet in, in this moment. No I problem. Don't have, I don't, I don't, I don't know what happened. But I, I stay, I, I to be again. All right. Here you are. You have about just a few minutes. Okay. Okay. Thank you, teacher. All right. All right. Okay, Carlos. Um, I gonna, yeah. I gonna.
Okay, welcome back everyone. Let me see. Okay, I'm going to take the second attendance. So that way we only have one more left. Do, 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 do. Okay, you ready for the attendance? Second one, Abigail. Okay, right here, right here. Okay, no answer. Beatriz. Present. Thank you. Blanca. Okay, no answer. Brenda. Okay, Carlos. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. thank you. Diana. Present. Okay, thank you. Edwin. Okay, he's having a little emergency right now. Okay, Flor. Present. Okay, thank you. Francisco. Francisco. Okay, no answer. Freddy's. teacher. Okay, thank you. Glenda. Glenda. Okay, no answer. Iris. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Jackie. Jackie. I'm here. Okay, thank you. Jarvin. Okay. Yeah, an emergency also. Jennifer. I'm here, teacher. Okay, thank you. Juan Jose. I'm here. Okay, thank you. Miguel. I'm here, teacher. All right, great. Fabio. Present. Okay, great. Rolando. Okay, no answer. And Janari. Okay, I can hear you. I think your connection is a little bad, Janari, but I heard you a little bit. Hello, Abigail, you came back. I'm here, teacher. Okay, great. I think you had disconnected for a few minutes. All right, let me see. Okay, let's continue. Let me close this breakout rooms. Okay, now that you... You got together in groups and you talked about some of these um, branding questions, whether it's product or personal branding. I hope you did a lot of speaking, a lot of analysis. Now, I'm going to show you this activity. This is speaking. Just so we can talk about different topics also. I want you to look at this. And can someone read, please? Fabio, can you read, please? Okay. Think about how life will be different in the year 2050. <laughs> okay. Continue. Check with the uh, check mark check, check mark the statement you agree with and then uh, and then tell a partner okay let's read the questions let's read the questions continue fabio yeah all the no just the first one okay people will probably take luxurious looks so luxurious 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 vacation in space all right. Okay. Remember, we're talking in the year 2050, right? El año 2050, right? So this is, what do you think will life be like in the year 2050? All right. So Fabio just read, people will probably take luxurious vacation in space. I think that already began, right? But not everybody. Only certain people went, right? 
Um, next one, please. Miguel. Rich people may have robots to do all the homework, housework. Yeah, housework, housework, right? Housework is in reference to like cleaning, um, washing, those types of things. That is housework, right? That is housework. Okay, let me see. Um, Beatriz. How countries won't exist? We will all be all be part of a world community. Very good. All right. Countries won't exist. We will all be part of a world community. Hmm. All right. Thank like, you. Like the son of a John Lennon. That's so interesting, right? Uh, what? What happened? I couldn't uh, hear. I That's say... so interesting, right? Mm. The last sentence. Uh huh. It's because all people is going to be communicating. Okay. Okay. All right. That's, an, that's another, another, another perspective. All right. Let me see. Someone else has said something. I say um, it's uh, something similar that uh, Leno, uh, John Lennon seen in her, in his son, Imagine, about okay. countries. Okay, imagine all the people, right? Is that what you're talking about? <laughs> all right. Yeah, all right. Imagine. All the, yes, I remember that song, right? John Lennon, right? Yes, it is. I hope it is, right? I hope I'm not saying, yeah, I know the song, but I, I think it is, right? I'm I'm pretty sure. I think, I think what I will say just confirmed it, right? It is. Now, continue, please, um, Diana. Diana? Are you here? Okay, maybe not. Okay, Jackie. Can, can I? You? Yes, okay. please. <laughs> you read my mind. Yes, I read your mind. You see, we're connected. <laughs> okay. Um, there probably won't be a cure for cancer. Okay, so that's another point, right? Right now, there still isn't an actual cure for cancer, but they're saying it still won't be in 2050, right? All right, let me see. Remember, this is just you're going to check or you're going to agree with the ones that you think are possible, right? This is just questions. Abigail, can you continue, please? Yes. Excuse me, teacher, where? Mm, can someone tell Abigail where we at, please? Yes, people make life. Okay. People might live on Mars in the moon. All right, and the moon, right? And the moon, and right? The moon. Okay, so it says here people might live on Mars and the moon. Hmm, right? Okay, continue, please. Um, Jennifer. Okay, the world will be less dangerous. Very good. I so, hope that. All right, yes. Okay, all right. The world will be less dangerous, right? All right. Continue, please, Janari. Okay, no answer. All right. Diana, you here? I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. Yes. Sorry, I was in the bathroom. Okay. <laughs> I called you earlier, but you didn't respond. So I'm like, okay, maybe she's not there. All right, but I'm glad you're back. Okay, after Janari, eh, Diana. Go ahead, Janari. Okay. There probably won't be enough for food for everyone. Mm, there probably won't be enough. Aquí enough. 
You remember yeah. that? Enough food, yeah. right? Okay. And it's happening. It's happening. Yeah, all right. You read my mind too, right? It's like I was just going to say that, right? It's happening, right? Pandemic in the United in, in Europe. I remember in the United States, people were fighting to get toilet paper, right? Oh, yeah. no, <laughs> but it's me or no, it's me, right? It's like what, right? So <laughs> in price money. <laughs> yeah, right. People were not in many parts of the world, people were going yeah. right? Wow, right? And yes. Yes. It's chaos, right? Okay, continue, Diana. Okay, traffic will will still be a problem in cities. Okay, traffic will still, todavía, I will still be a problem in cities, right? Mm -hmm. mm, it's already a problem in many areas, and some are starting to, right? Some are starting to, like here in San Miguel, right? It's, it's already starting to get really bad sometimes. Okay, let's continue with the next one, um, uh, Miguel. Okay, uh, trees and animals will only be in part on zoos. And, and. And zoos. Okay, zoos, zoos. Zoos. Okay, so what, what, do I, what does that mean? What do you get? Okay, there. What, what idea do you get here? Trees and animals will only be in parks. It's possible. It's possible, right? Okay. Yeah. Now it's for it's really. Okay. All right. Let's continue. Um. Who has a right? Carlos. Okay, can you continue, please? Where I have to read? The last one. Okay, can someone help Carlos? Donde estamos, please? The she last don't one. Want. Right. Don't want. Okay, go ahead, Carlos. Just teaching. Can someone tell me? Yes, children. Children want to go to school. They will learn online at home. Okay, very good. Children will go to school, right? So that is also happening already, right? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> but here in That's 2000, now. yeah, it's happening now. That's correct, right? That's correct. Yeah. So in 2050, do you believe that you, there won't be any schools anymore? Do you believe that is possible? <laughs> <laughs> huh? They will learn online at home, right? In 2050. Okay, now. Not only children. <laughs> okay, not only children, right? That's true, that's true. So correct, right? That is so correct, Juan Jose. What do you think? Which ones do you agree? Maybe some on another. I don't know. Like the super school. Okay, the first one. People will probably take luxurious vacations in space. Let me ask you something. Will you take a Will you take a vacation in space if you had the opportunity? Yeah. I would. I would be the first one on that on that uh, spaceship. I would. I would love to go to space. I would love. To. All right. What about uh, what do you think about robots? Do you think robots will do? Uh, there are already some, right? Yeah. Yes, it, it is going to be because the 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 people are building a lot of kind of machines and the machines machines maybe, machines machi machines and the the people are 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 going to be uh, more more lazy 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 yes lazy yes lazy yes, yes. All right. lazy lazy right. to be uh, now the people are going to be lazier okay you can say lazier all right you can use that one also in comparative yes okay yes 
Okay. Yeah, in a car factory, they use robot to assist. Roller, roller. What have did you, you think? Ever, uh -huh. Have you ever watched Wally? Oh, can you who, who said that? Was it uh Jennifer? Jennifer. <laughs> Jennifer. Uh, yes, Jennifer. I when when I watch Wally, believe it or not. I showed that movie when I was teaching it at another place. When I was, I showed that movie to my class, Jennifer. I showed that I showed that movie to my students when we were in in, in person classes, and and I asked them to give me an analysis. I did that um like three years ago three years ago and yes it's a very good movie wally Jen, i think Jen. that something like that can happen yes i think we're getting there right i think we are getting there with technology we are getting there has anyone else seen wally it came out many years ago yeah yes i have seen okay. yeah very good there's some if you analyze that movie, si ustedes analizan esa película, hay un simbolismo. There's some symbolism there. Yeah. All right. Yes. All right. I hope you understand it. It's a little religious, right? And especially. That's a video music now. All right. So it's 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 a good it's a good point. It's a good point. There's a good point of that movie, right? You have Eve. Eve. Eva, right? The female, right? And then the, instead of being Anna, they call it Wally. Wally. <laughs> An American name, right? It's like, right? it's wild, right? But there's some symbolism there also, right? Kind of like the, the movie is very good. It's very good. It's very. Yes. And, and may, may I tell something, teacher? Okay, yes. Uh, I don't know if you remember that there was just one tree that was uh, growing, mm -hmm. growing up. But now I I think that we will have something similar because many people are doing pollution. Even us, we do pollution every day okay. or... I don't remember how to say aire. Air. Is, air. Air is, is has a, a lot of pollution. Actually, in some places, there are selling purificadores de aire. Yeah, uh, air purifiers, right? Air purifiers. Air purifiers. Yes, that is correct. I went to I went to the dentist today. Now that you mention it, Jennifer, I went to the dentist, right? I like to see the dentist at least once a year, sometimes twice, to get my checkup and stuff like that, right? And he had he had bought a brand new air purifier. Now that you mention it. Yeah. I saw one today <laughs> when I went to the day he had an air purifier, right? <clears throat> so he he, so that means that one day we'll be in a place with a lot of or too much pollution. Exactly, exactly, right? And we are contributing to that every day, right? And when I say we, I'm not talking about individually. I'm talking about as a society, as a culture, as a country, and as a region. And believe it or not, as a world, right? as a world perspective, not just in itself, as a world perspective, I think that we have lost touch with mother nature, right? And then when, when things happen, right, it, it comes back to us. Everything comes back to us, right? If we throw trash in the street and then when it rains, all the drainage, it clogs up and then it floods, right? And then we complain, ah, say, ah right? we start, complaining, but we do it to ourselves as a community, as a society, right? So yes, very good points, Jennifer. Very good points. 
And it's reality. We see it today. We're, we're living it. We're living it live, right? I live it all the time. Sometimes I get frustrated when after it rains, the people here, they go open the drainage and they take all the trash out, right? And I see the, the mounds of bottles, trash, bags, all kinds of stuff. Right? I, I get like, oh, man. But it's, the, it's reality. Now, I want you to look at this. There's a challenge here. Hay un reto aquí. You see the blue part? Thank you, Jennifer, for your input. Very interesting. Nice. Very educational. Beatriz, can you read the challenge, please? Make a group and write one prediction about life in 2050 for each category. Okay, category. Category. Excellent. Yes. All right. There it is right there. Category. Can you please? No. I just want to tell you to repeat how to pronounce category. Okay. Category. 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 Pronounce it, Jennifer? Beatriz? Can you... Category. Okay. Category. Category. Okay. okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay. No problem. Category. Category. Yes, for each category. Very okay. good. Now, look at the categories. There are five, right? Five categories. You have housing, transportation, entertainment, health, education. Let's say, tell your classmates your prediction. This is your own analysis. This is your own prediction your own prediction what do you think or what do you what do you believe what is your prediction in regards to housing housing se refiere bienes y raíces houses right housing how do you do you think there will be more houses do you think communities will be far greater more buildings what about transportation how do you see transportation in 2050 how do you see entertainment? How do you see health? Health. How do you see health in 2050? How do you see education? Very important. How do you see education in 2050? Think about it. Think about now. Think about how it was in the past and think about how it will be in 2050. Select one. I'm going to, to amplify the categories. I want you to select at least minimum one, maximum two. Maximum two, but if you want to do more, that's fine, okay? And I want you to speak with a classmate and I want you to give your prediction. The same way you have predictions here, robots and, uh, and the world will be less dangerous. What about your predictions on housing, transportation, entertainment, health, or education? Select one or two or however many you would like to do and speak with your classmate about it. And I'm going to put you in breakout rooms so you can give your analysis. In other words, your predictions. Okay, before I put you in breakout rooms, okay, can someone uh, tell me if they can do this activity? Tell me uh, if you I can't. Have a question? Yes. Um, um, when you say housing, I think um, about technology in your house. Uh, for example, um, domotic, domotic or, or emotic. How the technology can apply to your house? Yeah, you can speak about that also. Yes, anything that relates to 2050. Do you think that technology? will dramatically change your house in the way you live? Yes, that's very good, Juan Jose. Okay. Excellent, yes. Exactly, that will be your prediction, right? And then you can give your own analysis. Perfect, perfect. Anyone here that cannot do this activity? Please let me know, so I will not put you in pairs. Para no ponerlos en pares. Me, Okay, who is me? 
Flor. 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 Ok, Flor. Anyone else? Alguien más. Anyone else? Ok. Flor, I will put you with a, a person with just listening, ok? Let me see. The floor. Okay. Are you ready? Any does anyone have bad connection where you cannot do this activity in pairs. No. Remember, if you have bad connection, you can try to, if you like, turn off your camera. That way you can have better connection if you're using your phone. All right. But if you, some of you already have good connection, you can stay the way you are. Okay. Mm. One, two. Uh, let me put this in the group first so you can share it. This is the challenge. All right, I send it to the group. One, two, three. All right, y'all can express yourself and give your own predictions. Hello, Yanari, Glenda. Let me see. Okay, I, I send you the the invitation again, Yanari. Uh, Glenda, hello, Glenda. What happened? You lost Thank connection. You. Thank you. Glenda. I think too. This is what? This is the word I uh, I think. <laughs> housing. Mm -hmm. What do you think about housing? housing? Well, I I think um about the the houses. Maybe so. <laughs> Why? Because if you see that technology is getting like, actually, I have seen some videos that we're not able to. There's actually that technology is advanced already, but we're not be we're not able.
Yes, um, I can hear you. I can barely hear you, Yanari. Okay, I understand. Thank you, teacher. I understand. It's raining. Yeah, I know. It's raining hard and I understand. Okay, Yanari, just take an exit. I'm going to... In the afternoon, it's raining like... 4 p.m. or 5 p.m. It's raining here. Just, and I have two because I live in a new project. My house is in a new project. I don't know if it's Marseille project. Okay. And I live, I live here. And here is the internet is really bad. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, do you want to go to the group and just listen, or would you like to stay here? No, teacher. I want to stay in, in the group. Okay. I'm going to put you with. Uh, I'm going to put you in another one. I want to, uh, I'm going to put you with Jackie uh, and. Uh, what? Okay. Let me see. All right. Thank you. Okay. There you go, Janari. And the, the first company that is going to have this kind of option will be Amazon. Mm -hmm. Amazon. Yes, uh, I, I was reading about that. Uh, Jeff Bezos on July of this year went to the space, but not exactly the space. I think it was almost the space because I was reading that it was about the atmosphere or near the atmosphere in some layer of that. So the future is uh, the tourism, tourism to the space. Okay, yes, Abigail. You do a lot of reading, huh, Abigail? You do a lot of reading and you like, you like to stay up to date, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, I like. That's good. That's good. Excellent. Excellent. And you're correct, right? They did go into space. Uh, well, not far away, but close enough to be viewing the earth, right? And, and seeing everything in the space, right? They went, how many people went? It was like four, right? Three or four or five or something like that. Five people. Yes, exactly. Four. Yeah. A few people. They, <laughs> yes. But yes. and the project, the name of the project is Blue Origin. Mm hmm I think they were united. It was individual people, and I think it was, I don't know if it was related with SpaceX or or not. But I remember what you were what you're talking about. I remember. Yeah. Would you go, Abigail? Would you go? When, yes, when, <laughs> when I could affordable, <laughs> could be affordable. At the beginning, obviously, the, the, the cost will be so expensive, but with the pass of the years, uh, it's going to be more cheap. Yeah, it's going to be cheaper, cheaper, right? We need to save since. <laughs> you need to buy a lot of a lot of coins. <laughs> you need All to right. say yeah. some cryptocurrency. <laughs> yeah, exactly, right? All right, continue. Great job. Great job. Online, online um, shops like Netflix, the online mm -hmm. entertainment, like Netflix, mm -hmm. that, and I think that is the peak of evolution of entertainment in in TVs and mm -hmm. the movies, yes. <clears throat> the streaming, right? 
And mm -hmm. I think that will not change in the entertainment in the entertainment um, state. But for movies like in theaters, I think mm -hmm. there will be still theaters in 2015, and they mm -hmm. will have a better. They will be developing or improve the screen of that, but they will de develop more in the 3D and the 4D action. Like I don't know if mm -hmm. you have seen the in the Gran Vía. <clears throat> mm -hmm. mm -hmm. They have the D box or uh, thing like that. The 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 chair. I don't know if this is a chair, the sofa. I don't know, but mm -hmm. it it moves. It moves according to 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 the things that happen in the movies. And in mm -hmm. other places in the United States, they even feel all the things. If, if there is an mm -hmm. earthquake, they will they feel this is the thing. They yeah, I think that it's improved. They will have entertainment. And mm -hmm. okay. yeah. And for okay. streaming, I think we are already <laughs> in the peak. Uh, that will not change that much. Maybe. Having that 3D in the in the movies like with I think the same. And I think also the um, that some people won't have a work job. <laughs> 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 because humans are produce produce gain. produce our own, own money on money <laughs> <laughs> with a machine. Yeah, with the machine. Exactly yeah. with a machine. <laughs> yeah. I, so well, you don't need Bitcoin. Okay, look, look, <laughs> Be Be Beatriz has a lot of trees in the background. We can make more dollars, right? Dollar bill. Exactly. Right? <laughs> trees, right? I think how many, how much, how many hundreds can we make, Beatriz, with all those trees back there? <laughs> oh, a, a, a couple of millions. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Could you let me? Yeah. Borrow me something. <laughs> yeah. Could you send it through 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 the app, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. All right. Great. Great. We're almost finished. Maybe one more minute, and we go back. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Right. Okay, welcome back everyone. Let me see. Well, I hope you enjoyed that little small challenge activity. Get you looking into the future, your own critical analysis, right? Hope you enjoy those questions and you got to express your own predictions, right? Let me see. We're going to, I'm going to do the last attendance. Does anyone have any questions about that activity, about that challenge, your predictions for 2050? Anyone? Beatriz, were you going to make, cut those trees and make dollars? <laughs> yes, maybe, maybe in a few years, I'm going to, I'm going to get a, a couple of millions. <laughs> <laughs> All right, a couple of minutes. Right? Okay, let me do the final attendance. Um, Abigail. Present. Thank you. All right. Maybe go to space one day, Abigail. That would be fun, right? One day. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Beatriz. Accent. All right. Blanca. Blanca. Okay, she didn't connect. Zero. Brenda. 
Okay, I think she's here. Connect uh, Carlos. I'm here, present teacher. Okay, thank you, Diana. Diana. Okay, she's not connected and she didn't respond. Okay, Edwin. <clears throat> Edwin. Okay, you still have problems. Flor. Present teacher. Okay, thank you, Francisco. Francisco. Okay, he didn't connect, zero. Freddy's. Hey, All right, great. Glenda. Present, teacher. All right, great. Thank you. Perfect. Iris. <clears throat> Iris. Present, teacher. Okay, thank you. Jackie. I'm here. All right, thank you. Jarvin. No answer. Jennifer. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Juan Jose. I'm here, teacher. Okay, thank you. Miguel. I'm here, teacher. Okay, great. Fabio. Present. Okay, thank you. Rolando. Okay, he didn't connect. Uh, Zero. Uh, Janari. Here. All right, great. Present. Perfect. Two, four, six. Okay. Okay, class. Now, <clears throat> for for the weekend, all right, for the weekend, remember, try to look at the next part of the module of your of your book, try to look at the next pages because we are going to do on, on Monday, we're going to see basically the components, right? The components of branding. So we're going to do those pages, which is page basically page 27 and page 29, 27 and 29, right? So be ready for those pages on Monday. <clears throat> Let me see. We have a chance that we'll introduce because on Tuesday next week we're going to focus on uh, some verbs basically on page 28 and page and then part 2 on page 31. That will be for next week. Okay class. Let me see. Today is let me see. Juan Jose stays. He did stay. Yes, he did stay today. All right. So I think he. Juan Jose, are you still here? All right. I guess he disconnected. All right, class. Uh, if anyone would like to stay, you can. I don't know if you want to stay, Miguel, or you can take the day off. But you're not obligated. Okay. You stayed yesterday. I guess I quedo. So it's up to you if you want to, or you can just relax. And have a great weekend. But if you want to stay, you are welcome. All right. Let me see. Let me just stop share. Which one? Which one of the questions did you feel like that really uh, attracted you? Which one of the questions you felt mo most attracted to? Housing, transportation, entertainment health or education? Which one did, did you feel? Anyone would like to give an opinion as to which one did you feel was like, yeah, I like this part, that you felt a good prediction? Anyone? Okay, I think that... <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. I'm gonna, I'm going to talk after you. Okay, okay. Jennifer? Okay, we were talking about entertainment. Okay. Yeah, and um, we say that in the future, um, the people, people will spend more time watching um, 
their cell phone, at the computer, playing video games, um, something like that. Okay. All right. Well, thank you, Jennifer. Thank you. Okay, Carlos. So we can conclude with Carlos. Finish it for us, Carlos. So we can uh, finish the class. Go ahead, Carlos. Give your opinion. Okay. I guess he lost connection or something. Okay, class. You have a great weekend. Take care. And remember, stay safe, and I see you on Monday. I see you on Monday. Good night, everyone. Good night. Thank, thank you, teacher. You. Good night. Thank you. Have a nice Thank you, teacher. Good night. Thank right. you, teacher. Good night, all. All right. Have good night. A, uh, happy thank weekend. You. All right. Have a good night. All right. You too. Have a good night, everyone. Monday. Teacher, sorry, I, I I was talking with my mom. Oh, okay. All right. Sorry. Have a good, a good night, teacher. Okay, you too, Carlos. Take care. Have a great weekend. Okay? Thank you. You All too. Right. Okay, bye-bye. Mm-hmm. <clears throat>